Hi, I'm Chell Lussy, and I'm with the HVAC department, and today we're going to have an introduction to electricity, specifically magnetism. The overhead that I've put up on the board now is a picture of our Earth, and it simply shows the magnetic field of our Earth. I'll tell you this, it's labeled wrong. It's labeled, I'm, I'm guessing, when the man made it, he was going with the normal understanding of the magnetic fields of the Earth, which is this. Here's the norm. Here's what most people feel or think, okay, is that we've got the Earth. Here's the North Pole. Here's the South Pole. That would be where you'd stick the flag, right? You've got what we refer to as geographic north, geo, the Earth, geographic north, geographic south, the uh, North Pole and South Pole. We hear about those all the time. Well, the actual magnetism of the planet, because the planet sits at a bit of an angle, twists on, a, on an axis, and then circulates or orbits the sun, the actual magnetism is off at a bit of an angle. And here's what's a little backwards from my, I would be willing to bet you've learned in the past, and that's this. The magnetic pole of the Earth up by the North Geographic is actually south magnetism. And the magnetism down here by the South Geographic Pole is actually north. And I can prove that to you. Because all I have to do is take a compass. And remember I mentioned that that pointy end, that painted end, is a north magnet and opposites attract. Therefore, the north pole of your compass attracts to the south polarity of the Earth, the globe, and the tail, the south polarity of that compass, attracts with the north polarity of the globe. Okay? It, I mean, it's that easy. Now, if you look at the overhead, there is evidence on the overhead that that is, in fact, true, but the person who made the overhead was thinking old school, and he labeled it wrong. Let's take a look at it for a second. He's got the north geographic pole. There's where you plant the flag. He's got the South Geographic Pole where to plant the flag. You can see that the bar magnet has been tipped slightly. That's the way it, that's the relationship to the globe because of the axis, the tilt of the axis. But he's labeled this as North Magnetic Pole and this is South Magnetic Pole, uh, the way that most people think about this. But I'm telling you, he labeled it wrong. And there's evidence here to prove that. The evidence, is the flow of the flux lines. They're correct. If you'll notice, the flux lines are coming, in fact, from the north polarity to the south polarity. Look at the little arrows on these flux lines, these lines of magnetic flux flowing always, always north to south. So the flow of flux lines proves that it is, in fact, south polarity at the north geographic and north polarity at the south geographic and whoever made the overhead simply labeled it wrong. I wish I could take credit for making the overhead, but I didn't, I just use it. Okay, now we need to describe a couple of rules. Actually, one rule, two pieces. Let me start it out this way. Let's just take a piece of wire. We'll just lay out a piece of wire. We've got electrons, little negatives, and we're gonna f push those electrons through the wire in this direction. One way flow. We'll just push them along. Now, these electrons are magnets. So really what we have flowing down this hunk of wire are little magnets. These magnets, as they move through the wire, create a magnetism around the wire. So the flux, the magnetic field that is developed within the wire as we move magnets, electrons, down that wire, we set up a magnetic field around the wire and the flux lines, the magnetic flux, goes around the wire. The magnetic flux does not travel parallel to the wire, it goes around the wire. If I can try and draw it this way, I'll give you a little bit better looking arrow. Okay, it goes circular. The flux lines don't travel in a straight line, they go around. 
And when we get into our experiments, you'll find that our compasses will prove that to us. In our very first experiment, we'll see that with the compass. Now, we can determine which way the electrons are going. Are the electrons traveling from left to right? Or are the electrons traveling, in fact, from right to left? Can be thought of or proven with the compass and with what we refer to as left-hand rule. Left-hand rule. Right-hand rule doesn't work. Left-hand rule works great. Let me explain this to you. There's two pieces to this left-hand rule. For a straight piece of wire, just a piece of wire laying out on a table, for example, if we know that the electrons are traveling from left to right, we will tuck in our fingers of our left hand. Now, you know, right hand in your pocket. Don't get it confused. Make sure you use your left hand. Tuck in your thumb. I'm sorry, tuck in your fingers. Let your thumb point in the direction of the electron flow. Your fingers then will wrap around the wire in the rotation direction of the flux lines. So in this case, if I'm heading down the wire this way with my thumb, my electrons would be, or my magnetic flux would be traveling this way around the wire. So if I'm looking at this end, to me it would be counterclockwise. If I was on this end of the wire, of course, then it would be clockwise. Opposite is true. If the electrons are now moving from right to left, and I let my thumb point in the direction of electron flow, my fingers would then wrap the wire in the direction of flux line travel, which would simply be the opposite. Electrons flowing this way down the wire will create a flux pattern one way. Electrons, the, uh, let's do it correctly, Chell. Electrons flowing this way with my thumb makes the flux lines flow this way. Electrons flowing this way would make flux lines flow the opposite. So therefore, changing the direction of electron flow through the wire will reverse the flow of flux lines, magnetic flux lines, around that wire. We're going to use that later on to operate electric motors. That's where this is going, ultimately, is electric motors. The other piece of left-hand rule deals with electromagnets. Now, I mentioned to you earlier that we do have permanent magnets that we can dig from the Earth, but we can make electromagnets. We can take pieces of, like, soft iron, for example, that are highly permeable. They magnetize very, very easily. And if we wrap wire around them, we can put electricity, electrons, through that wire, and we can magnetize. Remember, the wire itself is going to have magnetism because you're running electrons down it, and electrons are little magnets. So when you run little magnets down the wire, you get the, magne the wire to magnetize. Well, if I take that magnetic wire now and wrap it on some soft iron, something that's permeable, I'm going to create an electromagnet. Well, that's cool, but which end is north and which end is south? That's the point right now. How do I figure that out? That's the old left-hand rule thing. So here's how we do this. This time, tuck in your thumb, take your fingies, let those, and I should have done this the other way, or a little lower, let your fingers follow the wire around the metal. Let your fingers follow the electron flow. Follow the wire. The wire wraps this way. My thumb, see I did this upside down, my thumb points to north polarity. So in this case, this would be north pole, this would be south. Let's, well, I'm going to leave it wrapped the same way. I was about to say I'm going to wrap it opposite, but I'm not. I'm going to wrap it the same way. So I came over the top, and around the bottom. What I want to do, oops, what I want to do is take the electrons the other way. That's what I want to do. Now, same wrap, same magnet, right? Same situation. Let's just change the way we bring in the electrons. Again, left hand rule, left hand. Fingers are going to follow the wire, 
wrap your fingers around the iron core the same way the wire does and poke your thumb out. So if I wrap around this way and poke my thumb out, I get a north here and a south over here. Let's try this wrapping the other way. Here, the point I'm making to you is this. When you change electron flow direction, left to right, right to left, you reverse the magnetism. We had north, south, left to right, but right to left, we had south, north. Let's wrap these a different direction. We'll take the same iron core, and this time let's simply wrap this backwards, exactly opposite. So I'm going to come behind on the first one, and then over and behind, and come out. Now, put the electrons through it in the same way. Can you see this? This and this are wrapped exactly opposite. Now let's put the electrons through it the same direction. Watch what happens. Left hand again. This time I have to follow the wire, so I'm going to wrap my fingers the same way the wire wraps, stick my thumb out, bink, and I get a north polarity and a south polarity. Opposite of this one, electrons, same direction. Wraps of wire, opposite. Polarity, opposite. Do it same as here. Let's just show you this. Okay, wrap it the same way. Come around behind, then over, behind and over. Now put the electrons through this way. Here comes my, again, tuck your thumb in. Here comes my fingers. They wrap, they follow the wire, they wrap around the core. Stick out your thumb, boink. And you got the north pole here, and the south pole here. Your thumb points to north. Again, look what happened. Electrons, same direction. Wraps, opposite, polarity, opposite, okay? That's your left-hand rule. There's two pieces. Left-hand rule for a straight piece of wire, left-hand rule for electromagnets. That will conclude this lecture on Introduction to Electricity and Magnetism.